Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition, the redo. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, we had explored a little bit more of the galaxy. We are now stopped going up this way by an enigmatic fortress, which, while doesn't let us progress further, does essentially block this off from other civilizations also coming this way so we can essentially consider this uh branch uh out from our current location uh funneled off to a stopping point we can ignore this for a little while uh we also discovered not one but two civilizations one of them being humans earth had survived and it has thrived, as you can see. Uh, but checking the details on both civilizations, uh, you can see that they are rivaling and rivaled by a civilization that we do not know of yet. So we'll probably run into them soon, if not immediately after I start uh, the playing of the game. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Alrighty. And we have our scientists working on the alien specimen procurement and the shrines to the old gods, uh, at least the ones that have survived. Uh, we have renamed several ships so far to uh, reflect our past scientists. May they rest in peace. And we shall continue on our trek outwards to see what is new and exciting in the universe uh one down there one over here checking out other things and one heading up this direction another one will be going this way soon enough maybe we'll find out anywho we have a scientist also at our home assisting with research which we're still currently doing uh AI-controlled colony ships, global defense grids, and exotic gas extraction with Francois Bergeron, Arnav Kuti, and Ariana de Savoia. I think I pronounced that right. It's my game. I can pronounce it however the fuck I want. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Let us fast forward and let time take its course. Also, the imperial strike force system getting, reconnaissance completed uh more ships added on to it as time goes on by chance we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this moon the source appears to be a small object in orbit the signal contains no message could it be a distress transponder possibly look into it and let me know uh Tetera has otherwise been fully surveyed other than that one anomaly. So there we go. Construction complete. Hey, Belinde has completed his construction queue, which was moving some off the mining districts and into the city districts, which we kind of desperately needed. We, ne we needed more houses. Badly. Some would argue we still need more houses, and that will be rectified with time. <laughs> Mummified pilot. That's what it was. The mumf... <laughs> Let me try that again. The mummified remains of a sign... <laughs> okay. My mouth has determined it no longer wants to cooperate. The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species has been found drifting in high orbit over Tetera 7A. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with a helmet and may be a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle only to be forgotten and left behind. Our study of the corpse has provided some interesting data. Tragic fate. Might have been forgotten because they didn't win the battle. And uh, there was no one to tell their home species that uh, yeah, some people might have survived. But uh, can't really pick up survivors if uh, 
no one knows. System that they reconnaissance survived. completed. Unfortunate. Construction complete. Yay. But now they don't know what to do. Boo. Okay. Um, a farvis. Um. You know, since I determined that I don't really need to focus on them, at least for right now, I'll just have them build the mining station and research station there. And then do the mining station there. And then head back to Kizuitov. I was trying to figure out how to pronounce that. I think I like Kizuitov. Okay. There we go. It's done. Ariana has leveled up. Good. And... Construction complete. Our energy... <laughs> our energy income is slowly but surely draining down, and I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it in the slightest. Alright, the Imperial Strike Force is as upgraded and as reinforced as it's going to be found. for right now. Uh, I might do more in the future. Sensors are reporting a number of possible points of interest within the dense debris field surrounding D9-2079. Huh. Forward, Gaston. Find out what's going on. In, uh, where was it? <laughs> Don't know where it was. I, I, I think the... It was in the Tibby system. That's what I thought. Okay. All right, and we have the one down here. Oh, that's where he is. He's in the Tibby system. Right there. Okay. Mixes. Construction complete. Nice. Uh, then you shall work on mining stations we may put off the research station for now and then you'll system reconnaissance oops, completed it'll... shattered world oh among the debris we have discovered the shattered remains of a formerly habitable planet the, pa the, the patterns of fragmentation and charring on the shards Suggest it was blasted with concentrated beams of thermal energy until it cracked from the pressure. This allowed for the mineral-rich core to spill out and solidify into clumps of high-quality minerals. Fascinating, but also holy shit. I hope no one was on the planet when they did that. Fuck. Dude. All right. Also, because it moved off of this bar, now I can't interact with it until I move to... There. There we go. Better. Now I can do it. Fantastic. All right. And we're just waiting on... something else to happen, I guess. <laughs> That's really all we're hoping for. At this particular moment. Anomaly found. The planetary body Tibby 1 appears to be covered in some manner of grayish substance, possessing strange properties and varying metallic composition. It's another nanoplanet? It's gray goo. It's either nano or living metal. We'll find out either way. Oh, just noticed that, uh, that construction ship is done with that. Um, build the mining stations and then move over here to get that done. And then we'll move them up there and then there. And then we'll fill out the rest as time goes on. Ooh. Building better worlds. Terraform a planet. First achievement. In this session, hell yeah. Astinda 3 has been terraformed into a continental world. Finally, it is done. 
which means once the AI controlled colony ships development is finished, we shall we shall send off our colonists to that planet and colonize it in the name of the Empire. Felony. <laughs> Not the Galactic Empire from Star Wars. That would be bad. Anyway, onward. This is being researched. This is done. Cool. After detailed analysis. Okay, so it's... A, oh, we gained assembly patterns out of it, too. That's nice. That's very nice. And another Elgate Insight. I'll take it. After detailed analysis, Officer Gaston Pellissier has discovered that the strange metallic substance coating the surface of Tibi-1, in fact, comprises of billions upon billions of nanites. These nanites are microscopic, self-replicating micro-machines. Self- Ah, uh, that was not intentional. <laughs> Perhaps created by a past civilization for some unknown purpose. The volume and density of these... This nanite sludge is remarkable, adding billions of tons of mass to the underlying planet. It would appear these tiny self-replicators entered a state of runaway reproduction at some point in the past, engulfing the planet and everything on it. In studying the nanites, the crew has made some exciting new findings that will undoubtedly aid us in our research. Cool. Which is why we got assembly patterns. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. And it will increase Special planet build speed. Complete. Hell yeah. Nice, gotta love that. The Sneerin secured. Sneerins are large burrowing creatures that live beneath the dunes of the vast equatorial deserts on Hope's tendrils. When these predators sense movements in the sand above, they immediately raise dozens of tall spikes from their backs in the hope of impaling something edible. Ooh. Grizzly. Finding a suitable specimen proved difficult at first, until hundreds of tracked, remote-controlled drones were dispatched across the desert in random directions. This led to the discovery and procurement of an unusually large specimen, specimen that had grown more than a hundred spikes on its back. Damn. That's a lot of spikes. That's a lot of penetration. Why am I the way I am? Okay. <laughs> okay. Anomaly Moving found. on. An unusually deliberate geometric configuration of minerals drifts through the debris belt by R66-3427 and is possibly of alien origin. Let's look into it. Tibby system just bringing out more and more weird mineral shit. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Hey, the global defense grid is completed. Beautiful. Now, what should we do now? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Really useful. That is very useful, but we, I can't devote energy to that yet. Hmm. Hydroponics is basically useful at this stage I said basically useful I meant useless <sighs> brain and words no longer working together yay word salad um gene crops maybe maybe uh, xenobiology is a little expensive colonial centralization I do like the idea of that I do prefer that idea Robust frameworks for local governance created on a per case basis per case basis to meet each colony's needs. And it would provide a planetary capital and a hall of judgment. The hall of judgment would be more enforcers, and the planetary capital would create more administrators, enforcer jobs, housing, amenities, basically all the good shit. So Hmm. Yeah, let's go with it. I like the idea. 
Okay, now we wait for something new. The Crystal Codex. The mineral cluster is a holographic record, multi-sided, many-edged, and translucent. It remains secure in the ISS Brinkman's tractor beam, but our experts will need some time to decode its contents. A special project has been issued to expedite this process. New sit rep. Alrighty. Well, in that case... Yeah. I don't see why not. Alright, and it was in the Tibby system. So we have the Brinkman work on it. Research. Then survey the rest of the system. And then we'll work our way around here. Like we would prior and call that good for now. Key phrase for now. All right. They'll work on the codex. It looks like it's going fast. So, won't have to wait too long. Yeah, our, uh, our empire is kind of sprawled all over the damn place. I really should. Construction complete. Do something about that. Um, build the mining station there, and, hmm, I wonder, maybe Saya, that would be a good place for a cutoff point, not what I meant for you to do. Should have gotten out of that menu. That's my bad. Uh, upgrade that to a starport. And... Let's upgrade... Hmm. Let's upgrade... And get to our to a start point as well. When I have the alloys, obviously, which I don't have yet. <laughs> Clearly. Special project Ooh. complete. Hey, 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 hey! That was fast. The holographic data documents the terms and conditions for a trilateral trade treaty between three major alien powers that once dominated this quadrant of the galaxy. Context eludes us and the details are meaningless. But science officer Gaston Pelissier feels that this will that this find will prove invaluable to improving our own ability to communicate with alien forces. Fascinating. So another month and I'll have enough to make this a starbase. System reconnaissance completed. There we go. Ooh. Looks like we have a rare crystal Construction uh, complete. Build up here as well. Nice. System reconnaissance completed. Nice. Look into this first though. Yeah, there we go. Build mining stations and then head over here. Oh shit. <laughs> Looks like we need to buy more alloys. <laughs> problem I always seem to have. Uh, doing pretty good on income of food and minerals, so let's sell a thousand of each of those, and then buy, buy alloys with the uh, profits from that. Sure. Sounds good to me. And then we'll have him focus on building that after he's done with the mining stations. Wait. That was the wrong ship. I'm an idiot. I meant to do this one. Yeah, there we go. I'm a dumbass. Okay. Better. 
Construction complete. Uh, Polkor is now in combat. Why is Polkor in combat? Uh, put a star base there. Or, Velasco is in combat. Why is the Velasco in combat? Um, oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Run. Run fast. Run fast now. Okay. Alright, well, at least they survived. Well. And the force was rather low power, if I recall. So, we shall send the fleet, and they shall deal with them forthwith. Sounds good to me. Ooh, I'm happy the Velasco didn't fucking get destroyed. Oh boy. Oh, I guess they were talking to someone else. You call that a fair deal? You spit in the face of Numa. Pah! Oh, but we have customers. Our sincerest apologies for that display. Some do not have the courage to accept good fortune when it falls into their lap. Show us your wares. Hmm. We have already purchased this product, so we don't need it. Also, I wouldn't have the money to buy it again a second time, even if I did, didn't have it, so. Not interested. Move along. Governor has leveled up. Nice. I did not mean to do that. Um, got these two still upgrading. Good. That'll bring us to five. That's a little closer to the cap than I would like. But, uh, something. I'll return in a about close to a year. Okay. Anomaly found. An ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. Well, let's look into it. Construction complete. All right. Construction in the Tibby is now completed. Tibby system is now under our control. Good. Construction complete. Nice. Gulantha herd secured. Gulanthas are large, flat herbivores that have evolved internal gas pockets, enabling them to hover a few centimeters above the ground. Hmm. They move about in herds consi <laughs> consisting of a few dozen animals grazing on the moss and lichen that can be found on the windswept plains of Sikon, yeah, Sikon 3. They are ruthlessly hunted by the planet's apex predators, and our biologists on the ISS Arbiter estimate that only a few hundred Galantha herds remain. Oh, Jesus. One of these, consisting of nine animals, has been successfully collected and will be brought back to Felon Day. Fair enough. Well, since Saya Starbase is completed, we'll get upgrades going on that right away. While conducting their survey of Frey... Freyry? Freyry? Frayry. I don't fucking know. <laughs> 1A. The ISS Brinkman detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage. But one of its manufacturing bays is still in working condition. Science officer Gaston Pellissier is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant project. New sit rep. Fair enough. Oh. The Racket Industrial Enterprise. 
It is not a relic. It is an antique. Just think. Ksk. It survived this many centuries already. Built to last. What can you offer us? Oh, it requires alloys. Four racket pops arrive on Felon Day. So... It would... It would allow them to live on the planet, huh? We have good workers for you. Good lifters, draggers, pullers, cleaners. Healthy, clever. Give us 500 alloys, and we shall send four racket pops to one of your planets. What? Criminal records? Afraid we've lost the papers. Ksk. Right. So, there are possible criminals... Not right now. Could you get back to us later? Then we shall call you again before making our leave of your space. But we may alter the deal. <sighs> In that case, then uh, it might not be worth it. Period. Um, put more into expansion. Pop growth speed. Courier network. It would be kind of nice, but uh, we're going to go with pop growth. There we go. A new life awaits our citizens in the off-world colonies. A chance to begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. With the help of an aggressive marketing campaign, the less fortunate elements of our society will be flocking to our colony ships. Good shit. I like it. Alright. And now, Saya. Upgrade you with... What is in the areas around you? Not much. Not much at all. Hmm. I might in the future put a... Uh, put a starbase on Asland. It's like Asland. <laughs> My brain immediately went to Asland. Come on! Come on! Alrighty. So, um, since there's no trade value that can be found really close, I'm going to assume it's not even worth that. So, let's build an anchorage to help with our capacity. And, uh,. Fuck it, let's just build a crew quarters. Why not? It can serve as a uh, forward base should there be any shenanigans that need to be done out here. Sounds good to me. Construction like complete. Yeah. And Gitanar Starbase has been completed. Good. And I know I can do trade hub shit here. So we'll call that good. And we'll do a crew quarters there. Good, 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 good. Anomaly found. Ooh. Optical sensors isolate a cluster of shapes on the barren surface of Ferrari 2A that could be buildings. Let's look into it. Construction complete. All right. Done on Poa. Hey. Beautiful. Then we have them work on... <laughs> Construction complete. Lacking just two alloys. Just two. New yeah. sit rep. The ISS Salvation has entered the Asmore system and its crew report that a stellar object not unlike the Shrine to the Untold is indeed orbiting the star. I see. Give me a moment then, and I shall deal with that. Um, -a -doo -a -doo. Oh, that was our fleet. Okay. Um, hmm. I'll deal with that when the Velasco is back. Which should be in another month anyway. Well, another two. 
but still. Um, Construction complete. We'll have them work on the star base then. Oh, they're done here. Ah, crap. All right, well, send them back to uh, the Saya star base. Hmm. Their deal still stands. It's the last call. Nah. They're not interested. Sorry. <sighs> Mainly because, A, I don't have the alloys. I'm too busy using them. And, B, I don't want to bring possible criminals into my fucking planet. No, fuck that. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the fear in the fear mathrias fear mathrias fear mathrias i like that i like that pronunciation these strange objects have been flagged as upsilon aliens until we can learn more about them okay where is that is this ship That's on this is when we just now run into these? On top of the fact. That's a science ship. I don't know what kind of science ship it is, but it is a science ship. How's it we're just running into those now? Where could it have come from? Is it related to that no there's no way if they were rival if they were rivaling both of these civilizations then they wouldn't be able to get through them to get there so where did it come from another civilization that might be friendly i guess we'll find out in seven months. All right. So that means colonial centralization will have to wait. That's fine by me. Hmm. What the ISS Brinkman found on Frari 2A were not buildings, but surprisingly regular mineral up outcroppings. Science officer Gaston Pelissier asserts that these angular blocks of rock are the product of interactions between tectonic plates. Their shapes the result of the unusual tecto tectonophysics, that is a fucking mouthful of a word, inherent in the planet's crust. The perfect angularity of these thrust faults, is that a phrase that can be used there? It implies a possibility of aliens tampering with Ferrari's 2A, Ferrari 2A's crust at some point in the past. Most intriguing. Nice. We'll look into that. Do you like alloys? Do you like metals? Gases? Hard workers? Precious minerals? Yes. We thought you might. Okay. What do you got? You're doing this again. Not interested. Move along. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's the... That's the racket and... Anomaly feet. found. That's what they are. Okay, makes sense. While they, wow, they also have a fucking lot of uh, ship power. Holy shit. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Let's look into it. Why not? Um, did I never explore this system? Ever? Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay. Perfect. That's finished. AI controlled colony ships. Beautiful. All right, that's exactly what I needed. Speaking of things I needed, <laughs> we got mode stabilization and quantum energy states. Man, those are both good. 
Do I need energy or a resource more? I'm at 13 coming in. I might not need the energy that badly yet. I might want to go for the exploiting a resource. Volatile motes are fickle particles that are dangerous to work with. In order to safely harvest them without setting off a chain reaction of explosions, field energy fields must be used to stabilize the motes. For volatile motes, these preternatural particles... Let me try that again. These preternatural particulars... Particulars? Really? Brain? Mouth? Well, this is what you want to do with me right now? Really? These preternatural particles contain a tremendous amount of energy which could be exploited into energy production as fuel or even as explosives. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Why not? Why would I not? Old gods approaching the undaunted. The ISS Salvation has entered the Riador system. Why did I roll the R for that? Fuck it, why not? And the crew report that a stellar object, not unlike the Shrine to the Untold, is indeed orbiting the star. Good work. At this point, I think it's our fleet that's doing most of this work. <laughs> it is. It is our fleet doing most of this work. Oh. A micro-singularity, you say. On Ferrari 5. A micro-singularity recently intersected Ferrari 5, passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the planet. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific models. Further study may be warranted. Huh. Fascinating. Yeah, you're right. That would be warranted. Also, what? Why did it go all the way back there? Okay. Um, research that project. Research this project. And we'll call that good. For now. And we'll actually... Well... So, uh... So our uh, ship should be done soon. So we'll, we'll leave that. Permanent communications have been established with an alien empire. After successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the Yeon Alliance. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have been terminated. The Yeon Alliance. Oh, they're birds. Well, hello there, birdie. What a pretty bird. Who's a pretty bird? Okay, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Greetings from the Yeon Alliance. Chancellor Feathers of Brown, that's a hell of a name, is our elected representative, but in truth, all citizens have a voice in our government. We strive to better ourselves through technology and by studying the alien cultures we encounter as we explore the galaxy. They are erudite, ex erudite explorers. They're also a direct democracy. Xenophiles and materialistic. We can do great shit together, man. Together we can achieve greatness, Yoni. Cats combined with birds. Who could have thunk it? Anomaly I found. Ooh. Sensors pick up unexpected activity from an isolated point on Ferrari 7's frozen surface. Okay. Oh, so they're that close. All right. Okay. All right. So they pass through there to get the th Okay. All right. That's how we met them. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, hey. They're plus eight with us. Nice. I love seeing that. I'm happy seeing that. I'm the most happy I've ever been. Oh. And <laughs> the Yanni love us because we're also xenophiles. <laughs> And xenophile diplomacy. Oh, that's great. That's fucking great. All right. Okay, so they have a non-aggression pact, research agreement, and migration treaty with the criminal organization. Okay. And they're a target of Cassus Belli from Polysimus and 
the United Nations of Earth for their ideology. So, isn't liked by them. Or rather, they don't like them. I forget which one that is. Due to their ideology. Okay. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but alright. Still, the Yanni... Fucking... <laughs> Apparently the species is named Yian. But Yiani just rolls off the tongue. Um, are actually pretty cool. And they're equivalent in our power. Personally, I think that uh, striking an alliance with the Yian Alliance is probably a good idea. What's their population made up of? Oh, they have a couple of Polysimus in their population as well. Well, it makes sense. They have a migration treaty. Hmm. While I don't want to give up any possible uh, strategic resources that I could use, at the same time, I won't be aggressive towards them. I don't feel it's a good idea to be overly aggressive. Still, if I can get right there, that would serve me very well. But if I can't, yeah, no biggie. No big problems there. Also, they seem to be spreading out in their own way over here. Unless there's a civilization here that I don't know about. If that's the case, that is not good. Maybe that's the one that these two rival. Ooh, here's hoping not. Anyway. Onward we go. I forget. What was Science here? division reports a new breakthrough. This was just a bunch of space amoeba. I could deal with that easily. That's no problem. Okay. Oh, they're heading over here. Oops. There's engineering that was done that I forgot to look into. Oh, they did the exotic gas extraction. You finished that finally. Beautiful. Well, I was talking about needing more housing. Weather control systems. We do need more housing. Thrusters can wait. The ability to alter a planet's weather patterns to suppress destructive weather phenomena will make residential buildings easier to maintain and open up new areas for... new areas for... Habitation. Fair enough. We could do that. I like that idea. Huh. The Exile. The readings originate from a small research outpost, which the Empire of Felinae has no records of establishing or indeed authorizing, on the surface of Ferrari 7. It is staffed by one Felinian scientist, a fairly talented and industrious one if their research on Ferrari 7 is anything to go by. There is a problem with regards to their identity, however. We have been unable to match them against official state records, and they have refused to identify themselves save for stating that they are an exile. Okay... They have expressed an interest in returning to Felon Day and serving the F Empire of Felon Day directly on the condition that the ISS Brinkman immediately depart Ferrari 7 and no Felinian ships ever return there. That bad, huh? Okay. Bring them back to the fold. Ferrari 7 apparently has big problems. Big, big problems. It's frozen world. Yeah, if it's frozen, then it's not any worse to me anyway. Uh, so. I guess I'll have them backtrack to build the mining station for gases there. Um, was there any other places that I had open to do that? Yes, I did. I had a Farvis. But I could have 
that construction ship deal with that. So I guess, really, I just have them come back to this starbase after they're done. Okay, I can do that. And then have them do this. System reconnaissance completed. Turn back. There we go. Works good for me. Oh, before you leave, search that other thing. Unless you can't. Oh, he can't. Okay. Well, then fuck me. <laughs> but I will make you go there and there instead. Just so I can speed up that. Works for me. Special project complete. Tar block. After an extensive search of the seabed on Regor 2 using a small fleet of mini submarines, the crew of the ISS Arbiter finally managed to corner the elusive target of their search, a live Tarblock. The shimmering creature, which defends itself by emitting faint psionic signals that produce a sense of dread in most organics, was brought aboard the science ship in a special water tank simulating its natural environment. The crew members on the ISS Arbiter that came into direct contact with the Tarblock will require extensive therapy, but the mission was a success. Well, as long as that therapy is free, <laughs> it shouldn't be on their dime, especially for a mission that I made them undertake. Yeesh. All right. Um. <laughs> What's going on in this one? Forget. Uh, it's one of the. Uh, it's one of the research things. Okay, makes sense. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah, we should be good. Um, research all that. I guess the last thing I really should be doing before I end the episode today is... Oh, good. It kept the modifier. Beautiful. Uh, is sending our colony ship off to Astinda 3. And renaming it... Man, some of these names are just not great. Uh, Dawnlight. I like Dawnlight. Colony of Dawnlight. Beautiful. All right, and with that, we'll end the episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and branching out significantly. Finding a new possible good ally uh, that are also birds. Which is a weird way that went. But hey, I'll take it. And uh, having... Uh, a hell of a time uh trying to explore the galaxy uh we've explored quite a bit of it but we still have more to explore and uh here's hoping that we don't run into any more shenanigans uh like the stuff we ran into over here because fuck uh we'll, we'll have to build up our fleet quite a bit to deal with that for you